What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. See that red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that and show you support for the channel. For those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So, I have two things that came in. The company reached out to me and asked if I would do a collaboration and review one of their products. Um, so I agreed to that and uh, that finally came in as well as something that I just on a whim decided to order that I've kind of forgot I wanted to get since it came out. It's a release from 2019 and uh, let's get into it. All right, so first what I ordered that came in recently, 2019 release, something that I've been wanting to try uh, now that I'm diving into certain vetivers a little bit more. Um, I do like the original. My dad used to wear the original pretty heavy. What are we talking about today from Calvin Klein? This is Eternity Eau de Parfum. So my dad used to wear the original Eau de Toilette quite heavily. So it's very sentimental and reminiscent in a way for me. And uh, so I figure we'll spray it on camera together. So let's see. Give that a quick second. Um, I'm figuring we'll do a little trash or treasure. What do you say, guys? I know y'all like Trash or Treasure. Because I'm not a real big fan of Vetiver's, but it's one I've been wanting to try. Rave reviews. So, here we are. Herbal Green Springs rolling around. Have a feeling this will be a good spring fragrance. Wow, that lavender is very soapy. I know there's lavender in here. On the test strip, it's very soapy. Kind of surprised by that. I smell a lot of sage in here. There's a light citrus in there up top. I can't figure out what yet. It's not lemon. Maybe bergamot. I could see liking this one. Let's give it a little, little half spray on the wrist. I want to smell it on my skin because vetiver tends to not do well on my skin. If it's not a good vetiver. So let's see. We'll put very soapy. I can smell the sage and bergamot on on the test strip so let's see what we're looking like on skin it's a bit more herbal on skin green's a good color for this juice yeah i'm definitely getting a lot more of the sage a uh, little bit of vetiver the lavender is a little soapy but not as heavy as it was on the on the paper i like this this has kind of got a class to it really and truly this will go well with my suit and ties this spring Eternity for men, eau de parfum, treasure. Yeah. Initial impressions on the opening, I'm, I'm all over this stuff. Yeah, I'm digging it. I am digging it for sure. And then, so who reached out to me? So it's a company uh, that you may have heard, Hemingway, let me make sure I say it right, Accoutrements, Hemingway Accoutrements. Put that right here. It's an Ernest Hemingway brand. So they do a lot of men's products. Um, hair care, creams, shave creams. They also have a fragrance. So before I jump into the fragrance, they actually, in the letter they sent me, they said they sent me a sample of their Supreme Shave Cream. Well, guess what? This is not a sample. This is 50 ml. This is 1.7 ounce. This is a pretty good sized jar. And I did open it and smell it. I haven't smelled the fragrance yet because here it is. Next time I have to shave, I'm gonna try this out. It smell if the fragrance smells anything like this, it's, it smells great. So I, I went online and checked them out before I agreed to it. And from what I understand, this fragrance is a kind of a honey tobacco, ambery type of scent. So I gotta say they do pretty solid with the presentation, as you can see here. It's pretty cool, it's different. The bottle's a little different. Um, Put that right here we'll do a first impressions i don't know how i feel about the bottle they got they're different with it the label's cool it's a vinyl label you know have their barcode and everything it's all legit it's just this cap this cap and atomizer what are they thinking you know what were you guys thinking don't get me wrong it's different don't look like other fragrance bottles but it's got the nozzle, spray nozzle of a decant, a cheap decant or a, a, just an air fresher or body spray. So I'm not, you know, when it comes time to do the full review, 
presentation may get a little knock for that atomizer, but overall the presentation is very nice. They did pretty well. I like the box presentation. I like the rest of the bottle. Solid, heavy glass. Uh, so let me grab this and we will give it some sprays. Two big sprays. And let's check it out. Ernest Hemingway Signature Collection Eau de Parfum. Not one I've ever heard anybody talk about. I was blindsided by the email. Very thankful that they thought enough of me to reach out and say, hey, we love your channel. We love what you do. We'd like to work with you. And there's no talking points. I don't have any of that stuff. I'm not paid. I did receive these products for free for review. But if it's trash, it's going to be trash. I'm going to be honest with you. The, the atomizer is not promising. But I smell it in the air. My God, this thing's putting out... Oh, wow. That is not what I was expecting it to smell like for it being a honey tobacco. That's very airy, but powerful. The honey's subtle. The amber's thin, but there, it, it's present. There's amber, but it's, it's not thick. It's not dense. The tobacco is not sweet. I don't find this to be that sweet. There's a light sweetness from some honey, but it's not a sweet fragrance. This is not what I was expecting. I am very pleasantly surprised. Okay. That settles that. Find another spot on my arm. Let's go up here. Wow. Okay, so I'll give them this much. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see the shine now. This whole area from that spray. So, there's merit. <laughs> there is merit with this cheap atomizer. Sucker puts out. Oh, wow. There's an incense note to it. It's because it's smoky. It's got to be incense. It's a smoky note. It's very airy and not heavy sweet. That is very, very strange. I was not expecting the honey, tobacco, amber. I'm thinking deep, dark, thick, cold weather fragrance, you know? I mean, tobacco fragrances, sweet tobacco fragrances. I mean, come on, guys. I'm shocked. I'm very shocked. I wish I would have looked all the note breakdown up and put it right here for you guys. I may still do that. Actually, I will. I'll put that right here. I, I don't know before I put this up what all's in there. I do know it's there's maybe a little bit of honey. I know there's tobacco and I believe some amber because I'm smelling some amber. It's very airy. It's very different. This is, if there's such a thing as a barbershop tobacco fragrance, it's Ernest Hemingway's signature collection. This has given me a barbershop feel. That's what I've been holding back from saying because I wanted to smell, just smell it more before I come out and say this tobacco heavy fragrance is a barbershop fragrance it's got fougere quality aromatic fougere quality in a tobacco fragrance because it's tobacco dominant you can smell the tobacco it's a light dry tobacco not don't think um, Aramis Tobacco Reserve, don't think that heavy of tobacco because that's a dry tobacco that sweetens up in the dry down. That's great, by the way. It's so hard to describe. I'm going to have to do further testing, but I will tell you right now, Ernest Hemingway's signature collection is a treasure. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Very shocked. It is not what I expected because if it was just going to be another sweet tobacco, it's kind of boring at this point because I have a lot of those, you know? Um, don't get me wrong, I love sweet tobacco fragrances, that's why I have a lot of them, but it gets boring. We're, we're through the winter at this point and I've been wearing a lot of those, so it was kind of like, oh, another tobacco fragrance. Kind of sucks to be them, they're going to take the heat for me being tired of tobacco fragrances. But, lucky for them, it's not the same old, same old signature mold of a tobacco fragrance. I will say, good job guys. Yeah, that's... Surprising. I'll do some further testing. We'll do a full review on this one after the Dior week passes. Um, have a full review to do that and on Montagna Mystic Oud as well. Um, so pretty pleasantly surprised. So believe it or not, they're both treasures. Um, some of you may have been expecting that for eternity because it's got a lot of good reviews. A lot of you have it. Uh, and it got cheap pretty quick. I paid like $32 for that for a tester. Um, tester boxes right here. 
So, man, I just, I can't get over this one. But until next time, guys, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Um, were you expecting a, tre a treasure rating for both, trash from one or the other? Don't just think because this was sent to me for free that I'm just saying it's good just to say it's good because my initial impressions, it's, it's good. It's different. It's lightening up, though. Performance may kill it just because it's an eau de parfum. Might be terrible in performance because it's lightening up very quickly. Yeah, it's lightening up a lot. So to be determined. But until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on Eternity Eau de Parfum, and I can't really say on Ernest Hemingway yet because it's starting to fleet. <laughs> performance may be terrible. You give this one a spray now, strong possibility you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.